So what's going on guys, I hope you're doing good. Welcome back to another Black Ops 3 Zombies video where today we're going to be talking about a few details which we don't really know a lot about but after the Black Ops 3 Friday stream yesterday we can talk a little bit more about because we have some brand new information and this is primarily about the XP progression system that we're going to be seeing in Black Ops 3 Zombies as well as some other stuff that we're going to be getting our hands on when we get the game that are very very important which we don't really understand too well now but when we get the game we'll realise how important this is. Is and I want to bring you guys all this information so that you guys are up to date and you are informed. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here for loads and loads of Black Ops 3 zombie videos and let's jump straight into it. Now with Black Ops 3 Fridays, they have a fan Q&A at the end of every stream and I was lucky enough to have two of my questions answered. Now you guys know my name's John but also Mr. Dalek JD and two of my questions were asked, one as by John and one by Mr. Dalek JD and I asked about the XP progression system and this was answered by the director of Zombies, Jason Blundell, and here's what he had to say. Do it. Uh, please explain the XP leveling system in Zombies, John asks. Uh, I know you explored a little, or kind of alluded to that a yeah. little bit, but if you could expand on it in any way. Sure. Um, so um, the more you play, you're, you're ranking up XP, you're increasing your XP, and each time you hit a level, you're then given a reward, be that a uh, gobble gum or a, uh, or a weapon build kit. Um, and you move all the way through the levels until you hit your prestige and possibly beyond. And, and so beyond, that's, you say. Yeah, and so that, that's kind of how the, how the progression system works. So there we go, guys. The XP progression system is broken down into two sections. The gobble gum, which we have heard a lot about, which is going to be present in the Shadows of Evil map and the Giant map, and also weapon build kits. Now we'll talk about gobble gum first because we know a lot about them. We know that there's almost essentially a little bit like perks which you can activate before you go into a game of zombies and you can get these from the uh, gobble gum machines and they have uh, different effects which can be used multiple times or it could be a really really strong effect which could only be used one time in a game but you essentially strategically pick out the gobble gum that you want to use before you go into a game as there'll be some abilities which can help you out in certain situations at specific levels and to go a little bit more in detail about how this could be used I also asked Jason a question about how the gobble gums work so let's jump into that one. Mr. Dalek uh, JD asks can you explain uh, the gobble gum so I guess we covered off on that uh, yeah. but just to reiterate. It's, it's, yeah so it's going to call it out it's, it's something that you set up before you even go into the mm -hmm. match and that's the new kind of idea as well the idea that uh, you're putting the gums into the pack and when we play it how we kind of thought about it is that uh, who you're playing with, you know, let's say you're playing with a more experienced player, maybe you're going to load your pack in a certain way. Maybe you're playing with a guy who's a little bit weaker, maybe there's certain things you want to put in there. Maybe you're going to discover things as you're playing and say, I need that bubblegum at round 10 because I just saw something. For a reason. And this thing would work yeah. or would help me. So um, it's a really kind of strategic moment, not only for an individual, but also for the team as well. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jason. Thank you to everyone who submitted their questions. Uh, I feel like we've pried quite a bit of information out of you. Uh, <laughs> and we'll just have to wait till launch to see the rest, I guess. Absolutely. Uh, so there we go. Lovingly answered there by Jason. But what he didn't mention was that as you level up in Zombies, you'll be unlocking brand new gobble gums to use in your packs before you go into a game. There's a lot of really, really strong, powerful uh, gobble gum effects that you can use but they seem very very powerful and it'd be that you probably have to level up quite far into the leveling system before you can unlock it and if you guys uh, are interested in learning about all the effects of different gobble gums I've made a video which I'll link down below which tells you all the effects that there will be in the game now it doesn't uh, include what level you unlock these at but of course as we get nearer the launch and we learn more of course I will bring you guys a video telling you when exactly you unlock every single gobble gum but there we go that is one part of the leveling system now we've spoken about gobble gums but there's also weapon kits which is a very very important new feature into zombies which Jason didn't really explain and not a lot of people know about. Now this has leaked, some people already have the game and some pictures of the main menu have leaked and we've seen there was a section for gobble gum as well as weapon kits and weapon kits are very very interesting. You can actually unlock different guns off the wall which you can put into a game so it's a bit like very advanced custom 
custom game features where you can select what weapons you want to see on the walls as chalk outlines that you can buy as well as what guns you want to appear in the mystery box as well as what attachments you want the guns to have. Now this is like looking at Buried where you could pick up chalk and draw guns but taken to a whole new level and as we rank up in zombies we'll be unlocking more powerful weapons I'm assuming that you'll be able to have on the walls in chalk outlines for you to draw but you can pick like anything out of the uh, SMG category, anything out of the assault rifle category, sniper rifle category. Not too sure how flexible this is going to be. You could make this really, really overpowered and just put like the most powerful weapons on the walls all the time and in the mystery box, which could be quite overpowered. So not too sure how set that's going to work. But you can also put attachments on the guns as well. So rather than pack a punching a gun to try and get a specific attachment on it, you'll be able to actually put that attachment on pre-game in the weapon kit. Now I'm just guessing at how this would work but I'm assuming there could be like a limit on what guns you could pick and you could pick like a certain amount or uh, guns could have a certain rating and you can only have so much power before you can't put any more specific guns on the walls because it would kind of like make it too unbalanced but I'm sure Triarch have got this sorted and of course when we get nearer the time and we get more information about how exactly this weapon kit works I will bring you guys a full in-depth gameplay video. Now the final thing I want to mention about the XP progression system is that we are going to be able to prestige. A lot of us already knew about this, but it was confirmed in this stream by Jason that we can prestige in zombies and there's going to be something pretty cool that is unlocked afterwards. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be 10 prestiges, like multiplayer, or if it's going to be just a one prestige, but I guess they want to add replayability into zombies with this progression system. So you can definitely assume there to be a lot of prestiges and perhaps as you unlock, you'll be able to permanently unlock a weapon to be on the wall or in the box or something like that, rather than having to level up to unlock it and there could be some really cool like player cards just like how you can customize that stuff in multiplayer there could be some cool calling cards and also some uh, profile cards or something like that to kind of make your profile stand out but that's all we got today for this video but I have a ton of Black Ops 3 Zombies videos to come out over the next few days so make sure you guys are staying tuned to the channel and subscribing if you found this video informative make sure to give it a like rating make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter linked in the description and I'll catch you on another video very very soon soon.